Hey girls, so today I am hitting you guys with a weight loss topic that is solely for us girls and it got a lot of interest and it may be a little awkward for some of you, but a lot of you guys want to hear my take on weight loss on your period and I get asked, should you still work out on your period? Should you change up your workouts? All things like that. So today we are covering weight loss on the dreaded time of the month when amp flow comes. I mean, no one is really loving amp flow, but when you're on a weight loss journey, it can really kind of be a bummer and a hindrance almost. So the number one question that I get is, do you work out on your period? Yes, I definitely do. Weight loss doesn't stop and your fitness goals don't stop just because you are on your period. Basically, for me, my period lasts five days out of the week. So that would mean in a whole year, I would lose 60 days of working out and weight loss if I just threw things away when I was on my period. So we don't really have that kind of time to give away and to set ourselves back if we've worked so hard. Now some of you guys might be lucky and have a period that gives you no side effects, it's really light, it's really short. I am not one of those girls, which is why I think also this video is good coming from me because I have always had a heavier period. I've been on birth control since I was 15 solely to keep my periods a little lighter. I always push through and work through the side effects. So don't stop working out on your period. I also get asked, do I change up my workouts or the intensity of my workouts when I am on my period? For the most part, I keep everything the same. However, I may tweak a little things. So for me personally on my period, I don't do a lot of ab work on the floor where I have to lie on my back just because it's just not comfortable when it's my time of the month and five days isn't the biggest of deals. Other than that, my uh, weightlifting schedule is exactly the same and my cardio routine, I still do my high intensity interval training. I don't go down on the intensity. I keep going at full speed, everything else ahead. That is the only thing I tweak and I highly recommend you guys to do it too. Even if you have cramps, even if you have a heavy flow, because when you start working out, especially for cardio, my period personally, when I work out, it stops. I can have the heaviest flow or be having the worst cramps. And literally, especially from doing cardio, but even weightlifting, the flow either goes super, super light or it stops altogether while I'm exercising. So it doesn't get in the way at all. It actually benefits me. So if I'm feeling sluggish or crampy or anything like that, once I start working out, I don't want to, but the endorphins and the serotonin it releases in your body actually also helps alleviate cramps. And you'll end up leaving the workout feeling a lot better and a lot more energized than you did going into the workout, which is kind of weird because you think it would be the complete opposite. However, all that is in a perfect world. So what you can do, obviously there are gonna be some days when you're on your time of the month where it's just pretty unbearable. So I encourage you guys to track your period. Like I said, I am on birth control, so I know exactly the week that my period is coming. But if you guys aren't, just mark some extra is down on a calendar or in your phone or download one of those period tracker apps and just so you know when it's coming and when you can monitor it and that way you can allocate some of your rest days and switch around your gym schedule so that some of your rest days fall on the heaviest days of your period or during your period anyway just so that you can cut out some days of working out on your period because I know sometimes it's not ideal sometimes you really just do need that break now if you're anything like me on your period you will be bloated I get severe bloating and it can be very discouraging a lot of things that happen happen while on your period can be so discouraging for weight loss. My belly gets so bloated, so distended, it is the worst. For that whole week, I'm just looking like a marshmallow, a fluffy marshmallow, and even, it's an, I'm not even exaggerating. I also recommend that if you are someone who gets easily discouraged not to weigh yourself for the duration of your entire period, unless you guys are like me and you wanna see how it affects you, I totally always weigh myself just because I'm genuinely curious. But basically on your period, your weight can fluctuate up to five pounds. So sometimes on my period, I'm between five to six pounds heavier, and it is just all that bloating and all that water weight you will drop all that weight once you end. So just know that this is what the women's body does. Like being a woman sucks sometimes. So this, um, so don't get discouraged if you do weigh yourself, but if you are someone that does, skip the scale for that week and just for the little bit, a few days after your period, but you will go back to normal, I promise. One thing I do encourage is again, I encourage this in all my weight loss videos, drink a ton of water. It really helps speed up the process of your stomach de-bloating itself and it really helps you lose that water weight, that bloating and those extra pounds a lot quicker. I also wanna quickly cover food cravings. I don't know if you guys get them. I don't get them majorly. Sometimes I get them and the thing that I'm craving the most when I'm on my period is either chocolate or something like chips or something. I know when I'm on my period, those cravings are down to just simply cravings and my body being a woman and just telling me, girl, you need some comfort food. So I usually don't respond to those cravings. I've got really good willpower. It's really mind over matter. But if you really, really get super bad cravings and it's gnawing at you, it's food. 
live your life you only live once like eat the damn craving because you're not gonna die you're not gonna gain all your weight back or you can consider that your cheat meal or your cheat day if you want to have a whole cheat day as long as you go back and you recognize in your brain that that was due to a craving and you go back to eating regularly your body is not gonna suffer too badly so I mean that's the same with any food with any cheat day don't be afraid if you need to cheat listen to your body and what your body is telling you to do sometimes because at the end of the day this is real life we are not all trained to become like fitness professionals or fitness models we are just regular girls that want to lose some weight want to look our best want to gain some muscle so at the end of the day you're not gonna it's not gonna it's not life or death the last thing I want to cover is um, some people have asked me while on your period is it better to work out with a pad or a tampon that is all down to personal preference I have worked out with both I have done high impact workouts with both and um, whatever you guys feel more comfortable in go with that I will say that like I said for me personally my flow really slows down and basically stops when I work out so it doesn't really matter what I wear because um, it's kind of like I'm not on my period once I get into my workout anyway but you guys go with whatever is most comfortable and I hope this quick video helped that's all I'm gonna say if guys don't have to stop for 60 days of the year because mother nature kicks them in the gut and in the womb and is unhappy at them why should we girls why should we suffer through our weight loss journeys don't look at it as a setback I know it's annoying trust me coming from someone who doesn't have the best periods and who used to literally throw up every day on the first day of the period and drew to crippling cramps I know trust me girls I got you but don't let it set you back push through it honestly once you do you will thank me if you're watching this video and you go ahead and start working out of course if you guys have any more questions about the specific topic or any topic in general please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them go get them girls let me know how your weight loss journeys are going and I will catch you guys in the next video bye